Greetings, it's Vagram, back with another episode of Mod Guide. This time, I'm going to touch upon one aspect of a particular mod. We're going to touch upon Project E and making the most out of your power flowers. Now, this is a bit of an outside-of-the-box set of thinking here, so bear with me a little bit. In the Vagram's Chance mod pack, we not only have Project E, we also have another m amazing mod by the name of Refined Relocation by Dynios. Refined Relocation has an interesting little contraption known as the Wireless Block Extender. Now, here's what I got to thinking. Why couldn't I link up a wireless block extender to an energy condenser? Well, it turns out you can. The only hitch, though, is that I cannot right-click on this and right-click directly into the box. So, this does not become a replacement for the energy condenser. It becomes a proxy to connect to it. So I cannot replace what my energy condenser is condensing through this. I still have to go back over to my condensers and actually physically interact with it. So here's a system that I've actually come up with. This is a pyramid. This is what commonly gets referred to as a power flower. Now this is a multi-tier one. You'll see this one up here on the top is going at maximum efficiency, and then there are some down here on the bottom that are going slightly slower. There would, in theory, be a fifth one right there with an accompanying array of relays. It's an antimatter relay from Project E. This is an energy collector from Project E. And then across the top, I have enlightened clear glass from Ender.io. Why? Because I'm kind of sick of staring at glowstone. You could even do a glowstone cover across the top if you want to. But what this means is that an enlightened clear glass is a glowing, it emits light, glass block from Ender.io. Putting one on top of an energy collector means it is constantly generating energy. It is constantly getting light. So this works 24-7 around the clock. Now, here's the general idea. Each one of these condensers is linked to one of the wireless block extenders on the other side. It's real simple. You place down a condenser somewhere, a wireless block extender somewhere else. You just shift right click on the condenser and then right click on the block extender. This is now linked. This thing is a proxy, which means it responds to item conduits, pushing things in or pulling things out, etc., etc. So what I got to thinking is, well, why don't you just set up one of these pyramids? Because the problem is, the bigger a pyramid gets, the harder it is to reach an energy condenser deep down within the depths of it. And that's totally true. So this... It means that you have a situation where you can make this somewhere in your base, set it away, and forget about it. Here's why, okay? What I've done is I've made this pyramid. This is half a pyramid. I made a cutaway so that you could actually see what this looks like on the inside. But in theory, there would be from here, this three, two, and one would be mirrored on the other side. So this thing would be complete. The only way that you could get to this is down under. Well, what I did was I picked a sufficiently expensive medium for these things to work on. Diamonds. These are making diamonds all the time. And what you'll see is this is going to make a diamond and the diamond is immediately going to disappear somewhere right about there. No diamond at all, even if I get this diamond. Let's get some of these. I'm just going to put one in there and it immediately vanishes. That's because those diamonds are being pulled out and put into these wireless extender blocks. They're being pulled out by hoppers and pushed into this condenser. This is what I'm really condensing. These are only fuel if that makes sense. Everything breaks down to EMC. So these are chunks of EMC that are being generated for free. And I'm using them to make what I really want to actually condense, which is dark matter. I could put anything in here. I could put cobblestone in here, glowstone, and it would fuel this up really, really quick. Let me see. Let me do... What's the EMC value of glowstone? Oh, that's 
That's nice. So, if I blank that out, and you'll actually see this will jump up considerably every time a diamond comes into the system. Just like that. So now, this is generating glowstone for me. It doesn't matter what those are generating. The only reason I chose something expensive like diamonds or emeralds would be a good medium is because that means you're less likely to have those back up over time. You're less likely to have an overflow of those things. And I think that's good. So that's the possibility of this right here. Now here's the thing. If I wanted to, I could put another energy condenser here. Another condenser whoop, right here. And I could extend this down more and more tiers. Put more... Whoops. Condensers with every single tier. Linking more and more condensers with more wireless blocks. You can have an array of these wireless, wireless block extenders. A grid of 4x4. Four four, that are all being pulled from either with hoppers or with item conduits from whatever, Ender I.O., um, item condo, item piping from build crap, you name it. You pull out with the item piping, and you're pushing into this. This is your real, this is your real focus. See, I'm up to 64 now. So, it was at 58. Um, so that's the thing. You could make this on the roof of your house, or bury it way down deep in the basement, basement towards the center of the earth. You never have to mess with it again once you set it up and once you get all the wireless block extenders hooked up. That's the perk. That's why I wanted to show you guys this. Now, I'm going to go over the basics of making a power flower here real quick. And I'm going to start with just the tier one stuff. We can put all this up. Basically, no, you go up here. Basically, let's make us a base. I'm going to put... That's my energy condenser. Now, here's what you're going to start off with. That's what you're going to start off with. This is going to be making, slowly but surely, is going to be making glowstone for you. Early game. Next thing you actually want to do is make an antimatter relay. You're going to uh, move your collector to where it's one block up on the antimatter relay. Now, why are you doing this? Because the antimatter relay gives you a bonus. It collects all of the energy that is in the collectors around it. So all these collectors are focusing their energy into the antimatter relay. The antimatter relay magnifies that slightly. It gives it a little bit of a bonus. That means that if you use a relay, you're getting a little bit more out of all of these collectors. This is a very simple power flower, as it used to be called back in EE2, equivalent exchange to. The next step that you would actually, and you see this is much faster. The next step that you're going to do is surround this with relays. Yes. And then you're going to surround the relays with collectors. Now, all of these things are going to need light source unless you only want them running during the day. This is your first power flower, is what they used to be called. Now, there are used to be designs that let you actually completely encompass these in a star. And I can't remember what all those designs are now. I do remember that. I think you could do this, but I'm not sure. Because if you do this, these are not getting all of the light that they should. But you could, in theory, completely surround these because collectors will actually keep working if the block is, if it's blocked on the top but it's still getting light from the sides. It's just not as efficient. So now I have a completely surrounded condenser. How do I reach that condenser? How do I get to it without having to break the entire structure apart? That's where this comes into play. You set it to make something expensive that you'll only ever have to replace once. Once my economy gets good enough, 
my personal economy for like EMC generation and stuff like that. Once we get enough diamonds, we start replacing these diamonds with dark matter. And then we start replacing the dark matter with red matter. And you basically use that as an EMC engine to make you whatever you want to. Now, if you wanted to, you could completely separate this out. I could put the condenser over here and just have a chest filled with whatever the fodder material is and put it in manually. And that might be your choice. This, I like the idea of because it's a bit more automatic. You can kind of set it and forget it, walk away. That's 13 diamonds that have been that are getting generated. Let's see if I wanted to go to dark matter. Let's get a piece of that real quick. And this is basically making dark matter for me now. This is an engine that I never have to touch, that I never have to worry about. And that's the whole point of this setup. I thought I would kind of clue you, and now I've tried. Let's get one of these. I have actually tried this setup here. And unfortunately, this does not work. This does not relay power. Get the linker out. Unless something's been changed recently. Let's link that up. And as you'll see, nothing is happening. That's because there is, I think, a direct code check by these to look for this. It's not just relaying EMC like power or items. It's not just passing it on. It is actually hardwired to look for this actual condenser, which is why I believe this doesn't work. This would be even better if it did. It'd be awesome. But alas, it's not a thing. However, you can do that system over there. And I do think that still has potential. I think that's really, really amazing. This means you can set up one pyramid with condensers and make a key material that you just use as fodder for your work, the work uh, room that you have. And then you just need a few of these right under the floor in the workroom, piping up into the bottom of this. You come check it every once in a while. You can very easily replace it. Oh, I don't want to actually be making dark matter anymore. I want to be making glowstone. Easy. And I don't have to disassemble that. Real simple idea. Real simple notion. I thought maybe you guys might like this. If you're interested. I would be curious to know if you folks would like to know more about Project E. Do you see the merit in actually me putting out a full-blown tutorial on it? If so, please leave a comment in the comments below. Make sure you like this video to let me know that this was informative. And if you want to see more, voice your opinion in the comments. I will definitely do a full-blown a full blown tutorial. Full-blown mod guide on Project E if you see merit. So, this is Vagram signing off. Thank you very much for swinging by and just looking at a little idea that I had. I will see you later.